Um, like you said, maybe a third DLC or something. Because let's imagine, right? Because we've we've spoken about this, right? So we we got we're getting the DLC earlier than we expected. Right? I know we said September, but we're getting like first half of September, right? Because I wasn't expecting it to the end. So that pretty much confirms that we'll be getting the second one before the end of the year, probably before yeah, Christmas. So that would make sense. I think that November date feels like it's it's really yeah. real. So uh, then we yeah. have this period of base from January to November next year where we have nothing. So yeah, that's happen, is it? It doesn't. I just can't see that happening. So maybe a third DLC that ties into Univar, and the next game would make a lot of sense. Yeah, like the black and white going back to black and white three, and if there's links to these past professors and trainers from, you know, from black and white, like what's going, you know, because like I said, I can't see them having nothing, because re- if that if that is a case, right, the DLC will probably take you up until like January. Well, I don't know, maybe probably the end of December. Like really, see, there's not going to be that much content. Probably not. The Indigo Disc, at least, I don't think will have enough to last all the way. Through, through January. A month and a yeah, half should be fine. So then you've got... I think the big tell in it will be, mate, is if there's no way in the Indigo Disc or the Teal Mask for us to obtain the legendary Pokemon, then you have to say... Oh, there's definitely the another DLC. Pokemon. Yeah, I think that is the big tell. But of course then, you know, we haven't got long to wait because imagine how hype it would be because they're going to announce something like that on Pokemon Day in February. And to come out like around, I guess, a springtime. Yeah. There's a third DLC to wrap up before they do black and white, whatever they do in November. Mm-hmm. Um, how hype would a Pokemon present be if they were like, oh, yeah, we've got um, a third DLC dropping unexpectedly. And after that, we'll be taking a trip back to Unova. In black and white three O legends, you know, but whatever it is. Yeah, so like, you you could announce so that you could have the presents in February, announce yeah. that it could come in the summer, say July, that last DLC. It probably won't be massive yeah. or whatever, and then you drop the game in November and that will hype that'll work perfectly into the hype. And you also have the new console dropping next year, right, as well. So the, yeah. the new console will drop, the new DLC could then drop, and then you have the game coming out in November. It just that would make so much sense. Based on like I said, obviously we don't know, but based on the information we do have, like you said, we'll just have to wait and see. But you know, we're getting all this information now, we can only theorise what's gonna happen. But once the DLC comes out, obviously we'll get a much better idea, especially once we've even just played the first one, right? So no, it is finally yes. feels like it's exciting again because we had that obviously that yeah. long period of like four months, four or six months between like you know like Just nothing, nothing really going on other than the terror rage, which was fine. Yeah, but like I think they've managed to they've definitely grab people's attention, and it'll be really exciting to see what happens at Worlds, which we can touch on briefly.